What's up guys, Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow, bringing you guys something that is just simply incredible. Now, there are a lot of guys out there that make totally custom PCs. You guys know Anthony Reynolds has built mine for years, but the thing is that how many companies out there that are actually companies selling PCs to the general public can actually make a computer that's totally as kick-ass, as aesthetically pleasing, functional as those guys right from a company. Well, Main Gear has done just that. This badass system behind me, which I'm calling the White Lightning because it's just got a totally custom paint job on it. That's awesome. And plus all the parts match up inside of it. So I'm gonna call this thing White Lightning. Now, this system is completely, utterly over the top like the only thing that could probably be even more crazier i suppose if you put higher in video cards or more video cards but for anybody playing games out there using 1080p 1440 not too many people are in the 4k arena all this would still handle it this system is just blazingly phenomenal even the systems really that we've had built here that Anthony's done, they've been really high end. You guys remember the Red Dawn. We've had a lot of different systems. They were all really nice, but these are all done by a guy who's sitting in his house doing this by himself, taking uh, pretty much a lot of time, sometimes 30 days, sometimes to make these systems. Well, the people over at Main Gear, they told me that they can actually make this badass system. It takes about three days to totally get it put together and customized. And this system is just over the top, like I said, crazy. On the outside, Corsair 900D case, totally custom painted. And by the way, I'll have a link down below for you people interested because these guys actually do totally like custom automotive, bleh, custom automotive paint inside of their factory. It's not sourced out. They have their own dude. And you guys, if you guys watch the video, see that he has like a stern face. It kind of looks like Red from that 70s show, all stern. And he's the guy painting all these cases. And this one's totally custom painted the paint job. I don't know how well it translates across in video, but um, it's incredible. It's completely smooth. It's even. There are no damage marks on it whatsoever. No scuffs, no mistakes. They buff it out. They make it look nice. And you guys can see all the way around. It's pretty awesome. On the front of the case, there's the main gear logo and the green lights that are permeating from the side. On the back panel, we once again see the main gear logo. And the front, you guys can see all of the killer components that are in this system. Now, what's really incredible though, is that all the parts inside of the system for the water cooling are all pretty much custom. Now the blocks are from EK, but all the rest of it is custom made. They make all of their custom tubing and this tubing is made to last. It's the very highest end, it's UV, and they also have all of their own custom fittings. They couldn't find the fittings that would actually work for the way they wanted it to. And so they went ahead and completely customized the system out. Now, some things that are probably a little bit hard to see, I don't know if we totally were able to dip into it, but down at the bottom is a release valve. So the release valve is down in the bottom. So when you're draining the system out, like you never would really need to because there's so much fluid inside of this thing and through the system that you probably never have to ever use fluid pretty much ever again. It's gonna last a long time. Now, what's really cool too, is not only they have all their custom parts inside of here, the way the loop works is pretty cool too. First of all, it runs up into the top radiator. By the way, these are huge radiators. They're using a G5 pump inside of them. You guys are all familiar with that. A lot of people use them. It's their own version they're using inside of here. But from the CPU, it goes up into this. And this thing's just a huge, huge assembly, lots of radiator space. Now it's cooling that water down, then it's sending that water down and going through this big, huge reservoir. And from that, it's pumping and going around. So before it ever even gets to the video cards, it's actually made a long trip all the way through a reservoir, a radiator, and then back to all these loops before it even hits video cards. So for you guys out there who know about overclocking and stuff like that, you know this is gonna leave a lot of headroom to overclock these video cards. Now, these are a pair of GeForce GTX 980 Ti's in here. Obviously, they're gonna be set to SLI. That's gonna make it badass. The motherboard inside of here is a deluxe motherboard. It's the Z710 Deluxe from ASUS. We actually have that motherboard on the shelf. We're actually building a system of our own with it, and it's in this one as well. And that actually helps match with the actual color theme. Usually, you know, ROG things are always the black, the red. This is completely different. This is white, a little bit of black, and this nice permeating green, and a little bit of blue here on the sides. But even the back of the cards, hard to see, they're EK blocks, but um, they're very, very clean. I mean, just very, very clean. We've worked with Swift Tech for years, and they have some nice stuff, but I have to say, 
EK is doing some really nice jobs. I'm really impressed with what's going on here. Every single one of the cables in here also has a custom connector here that they've laser cut inside of their shop. So they hold all the cables together. These are really, really nice things. These are barely just coming out. Anthony actually sent me a link a little while ago saying, hey, check these things out. But these go over the top. Most of the time, these things are completely closed and you have to string your wires through it to pain the butt, but nope. These guys are smart enough just to cut the ends off of them, making them entirely flexible. And obviously, a beast of this magnitude needs a beastly power supply to give you lots of headroom. And in this system, we see the Corsair AX1200i. So you guys can also see that everything inside of this system is amazingly clean. There's nothing, you know what I'm saying, that clutters up the area. There's nothing that's st standing out, making it look cluttery at all. It's completely clean, completely elegant. So, man, I just got to say, though, this is a company. This is a giant, pretty much, corporation that made this. It looks unbelievably killer. I mean, you guys have to admit, this system is just nice. From all the lights and everything that we have, um, even, even down here, all the custom lighting, and all the fans in here are also high pressure fans. So when you shut the system up, the wind flow through the case is very, very nice. The airflow, the airflow is nice. So that makes it perfect for doing the water cooling because you're not like trying to rely on any type of, you know, air cooling those off. You just want the system itself to be nice and cool and let those cards and the water cooling do their thing. And with two separate radiators, I don't know. This thing is going to run really killer. Anthony does that a lot too, splits the system off, I admit. But to see a company do this and make it a system like this is for me a pretty jaw dropping. I know there might be somebody out there who's gonna be, you know, you're gonna have the people out there gonna say, oh yeah, dude, I can make that thing for 80 bucks and blah, blah, blah. I know people are gonna say that. And what's really nice too is even the backside where all the cables are, you guys can clearly see that they've done an excellent job making this thing completely clean and elegant. So it's pretty much not only a high-end gaming PC, it's pretty much a piece of artwork. No two are exactly alike. Everyone's gonna be just a slight bit difference in it because obviously even when you're making things, you're gonna have a little bit of differences, which is gonna make you know every PC nice. Um, today's video, I just really want to show you guys all the components. There's also 32 gigabytes of incredible uh, Kingston Predator memory in there. Uh, this stuff is just really, really nice high end. 32 gigabytes, can't really beat that. There's also a 1.2 terabyte 750 series SSD that's down here at the bottom. And there's also mm -hmm, more two two terabyte Seagate 7200 RPM drives in here as well. So you have two giant two terabyte hard drives. One of them I'll use for Steam. One of them I'll use for Origin. That's how I like to do my stuff. I'll put my OS and anything that I'm editing or anything, I'll put that on that 1.2 terabyte. Um, but spec wise, I mean, it's spec'd out. This is just one totally, utterly beautiful system. Now, Windows 10 comes already pre-installed, but I just got this system, so I didn't get that far, but I didn't want to hold back because I want you guys to see this. So I'm going to be building and completing a total gaming dedicated area to this system. And as we're going, I'll actually, I see how you guys like more videos. So when we get the testing done, I'll actually do the testing and film the testing why I'm doing it. So you guys can see it. We can see all those scores together. Um, I know we've canned a lot and put the benchmarks out there and put the benchmark song out there. That's kind of cool. We'll mix that in there. But um, I know a lot of people like to see the actual live gameplay going on. But uh, for now, this is what I'm calling, like I said, the white lightning system from the people over at Main Gear a completely custom system from the ground up with so much custom nice work in it that honestly you'd have to go out and hire one of those big time guys out there who do this for a living to do this for you. And if you're a person out there and you don't know any person like that whatsoever, but your dream is to just have the most over the top, nicest, most elegant system out there, I think you should head over to Main Gear and just like check out all they have to offer. Now, obviously the caveat of something like this is it's going to be pricey. But you can expect to have the very best stuff in the world and expect it to be cheap. Now, I know there's going to be some comments all about that, too. There's always so many comments. Feel free. I don't care. But, I mean, if you want something that is custom built, custom done, looks badass, specced out, and actually came in the mail and still completely functional, even though it's a water cooling system, those are all in my eyes when. I want to hear you guys' comments below. To me, like I said, Everything about this is totally badass. Like when Anthony came and saw this system, he like was even like, wow, 
that is really nicely done. And he does this and has been doing it for years. You know, he's one of the guys who has put a, put a name to doing custom builds, you know. He may not be the biggest guy in the block, but he's been doing it for years. And even he said that this is very nice, very elegant, and well put together. So the bottom line is, yeah, it's going to cost some money. That's the caveat. But if you want something that's like no other, it's something to look at. I mean, I don't know. I want to hear you guys' comments below because only about the price, I already know it costs a lot of money. So please, you don't need to waste your comment down below telling me, oh, screw me, you, I, you can build this for cheaper. In fact, in this particular video, I'm not even going to bring the price. I'll bring the price later when I get all the components and we'll talk about my whole gaming area all together. It'll be like the ultimate gaming tour as we do the system. But uh, that's it, folks. Like, I really just hope that you guys are like me and you love the beauty and the elegance of the design. That's what it's all about here. Like, obviously we know it costs money, so let's really not even talk about the price. Let's just really, for this video, just sit back and just go, wow, it's beautiful. Check out the links down below. Everything will be down below. You guys want to check out more systems from main gear and stuff? Check those out. Like I said, I'll also have a link to where these guys have their painted booth where they do all their painting. So it's really awesome stuff. And real quick before I bounce out of here, obviously thanks to Manger, but we also want to give a special shout out to the people over at Braintree for helping make today's video possible. Even the best mobile app will not work unless you have the proper payment API. And that's where these folks come in to solve all your problems. This is where Braintree's V.0 SDK comes in. One amazingly simple integration gives you every way to pay. It supports Android, iOS, and JavaScript clients, and it offers a simple integration that you can do in minutes. If this sounds good to you, try it out for yourself in the sandbox. All you gotta do is go www.braintreepayments.com forward slash T-O-T. So in any case, fans, without any further ado, it's time to say goodbye and get this baby into my room and start testing it. Thanks to our sponsors and thanks for you guys for watching. Like usual, all the information about this system, its parts and all that stuff, we'll have links to all the separate parts in that down there. So if you guys want to buy a system like this and put it together yourself, you can do it. The only thing is, like I said, some of these components you cannot buy. That's the caveat about it as well. All of these connections, all those things, they're all custom made just for them. But I'm sure you can find something like that if you want. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Stay tuned because we've got to... Uh, hold on. You guys have been wanting to see this, right? I know you have. So check it out. Coming up on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace.